Yeah, hello everybody and a warm welcome from Paderborn, Germany. My name is Jochen Fiaf. I'm the director of the Heinz Nixdorf Museums Forum. The building which you see in the back of me and uh, we are standing here right in front of our building which is the former headquarter of the Nixdorf Computer Company and turned into this largest computer museum um, in 1996. And it's a pleasure for me to invite you today, although due to the COVID pandemic we are closed, locked down like all museums here in Germany. Um, so it's a pleasure for me to bring you inside our exhibition and directly to our original um, displays of the ENIAC machine because we are celebrating the 75th uh, anniversary of this wonderful first electronical digital computer and we host here in this building three of the original pieces. So just follow me because we can enter the building um, although it is closed and we will check out our original displays of the ENIAC pieces. So now we are here in the entrance hall of the HNF, the Heinz Nixdorf Museums Forum. And um, as you see, no one is in here because we are closed. Um, but the important thing is that uh, in our museum, we show the full story of the computer history, beginning with the first or with the invention of language and writing 5,000 years ago. And we cover the full story till uh, the current technologies are like artificial intelligence. So and this uh, museum is dedicated to the founder uh, Heinz Nixdorf, a, a German computer pioneer who was very uh, very early adopter of the high-speed vacuum tube technology for uh, calculators. So Heinz Nixdorf had the idea of setting up this um, museum and the two foundations are operating this museum uh, right now. And we have uh, approximately 6,500 square meter of exhibition space. So well, this is not a guided tour uh, because we are now directly move on to the original ENIAC pieces which we have on display here on the first floor. Just follow me and have a look at this uh, marvelous display. So, now I'm standing right in front of our ENIAC display and uh, let me very briefly uh, explain you the idea of this exhibition area. So, as you can see here, we tried, or the, um, the exhibition designers, they tried um, to present the original pieces um, in, uh, in a space that corresponds to the original size of the machine. So this is a very clever idea because we call it the ENIAC uh, at scale one to one. So in the exhibition room you see here is more or less fits the original space of the full ENIAC installation. So, and we are very proud to present to the public, to our visitors, three pieces. And they are on loan from the Smithsonian Institution. And the first piece here on the left hand side, so you see that we try to give the visitor the, the feeling of being really inside the machine. So we are using the original um, photographs uh, and, and the uh, video footages. And this is one piece um, um, from the original machine where you could connect the um, plug board um, and the switchboard to the machine to enter uh, parameters and uh, values inside the, the machine. The second original 
piece we have here is the interface, or you can call it the USB uh, 0.1, as you like. So a, a very early interface to connect the um, punch card equipment um, to the machine. So the data um, produced by the machine were punched or the results, the numbers were punched on these um, punch cards with a, with a printer. And the third um, original part we have here, this um, it's a part, uh, this is a piece from the power supply, which is a um, um, uh, capacities to control the, uh, the current for the, for the valves. So these three um, objects are from the original ENIAC installation and are on loan from the Smithsonian Institution. And um, so we have them on display here since 1996. And uh, in the meantime, we have um, enlarged our display and we are very proud of one piece, which you see here, and this is our ENIAC accumulator hands-on exhibit. So, well, this is in, in the look and feel of the original machine with the, with the metal um, haptic. And this is for our visitors to learn how the machine was uh, originally uh, programmed, so plugged up. We have um, the plugs here to connect the accumulator with the, with the bus system, with the uh, constant generator, and this device will be presented by Johannes, who did a lot of work uh, on, on programming this, this machine. And this is another video which follows um, soon. So Johannes will explain this uh, wonderful machine and we got the reward, the Tony Sale Award, a couple of years ago for um, offering our visitors the look and feel uh, and, and the background information of how ENIAC was programmed at that time. Of course, um, there is one display one additional um, object here uh, highlighted and this of course is uh, ENIAC on a ship and this was designed by students from the University of Pennsylvania a couple of years ago uh, so and when they rebuilt ENIAC machine on a single, a single um, silicon chip. So one last point uh, I would like to show to you is our display on John Morkley. And especially this is for you, Bill. Just follow me for a second. So in our gallery of the pioneers, we of course uh, have one cabin dedicated to John Morkley. And we can go inside the cabin. <clears throat> and here we introduce um, John William Morkley as a physicist and the uh, co-inventor of the ENIAC. And we, assemble, uh, well, we present many uh, bio graphical um, information and we have some photos here and I was just wondering on this family shot um, with John uh, I could imagine that this is you dear Bill. So this was this was our very short round trip into the ENIAC display here in the Heinz Nixdorf Museums Forum. Uh, thanks for your attention and uh, finally I just want to say happy birthday ENIAC um, and maybe we will meet again here in Paderborn, Germany or at some other place. So have a good day uh, and uh, see you soon. Thanks.